Hi, I'm Carl Harl von Mobel, and I'm the Science and Media Director of Biology Fortified, Inc. For the past 20 years, farmers have been growing crops made through genetic engineering. Now that's a process where you introduce a new trait into an organism by transferring DNA from another. Now some people have very strong opinions about foods made through genetic engineering, otherwise known as GMOs. On the internet, you can find many pictures like these, showing an ear of GMO corn next to an ear of non-GMO corn. And when left outside for animals such as squirrels and mice to eat, they would avoid the GMO and eat the non-GMO corn. There's also a video where somebody tested this with dried sweet corn, and they found that the squirrels and birds couldn't tell the difference. So we want to do a research project to test the hypothesis that animals avoid GMO corn and prefer non-GMO corn. And we want to do this experiment with you. We are proposing to do a citizen science experiment. We are going to send ears of GMO and non-GMO corn to a team of hundreds of volunteer citizen scientists. They will then place the ears in their own backyards to do the experiment themselves. Here's where we need your help. We need money to buy supplies, pay for labor, and shipping to be able to send 250 experiment kits to our citizen scientist volunteers. We also need funds to be able to pay the publication fee for publishing this experiment in a peer-reviewed scientific journal. If you want to be a part of this experiment, we're asking that you donate $25 to cover the cost of producing and sending an experiment kit. Any amount above $25 that you donate will go toward paying for the kits for someone else. We want to make this experiment free for kids and for schools to be able to participate so they can learn about how science is done. If we exceed our goal of $6,200, then we will be able to make more kits to send out to more people to make a bigger and better experiment. And at the end of the experiment, we'll get to find out which one was which, and we can finally put this question to rest. Hang on. I was not expecting that to happen. If this is real, then we're going to need a lot more data. We need your help. Please join us in the GMO corn experiment.